In this session, we will see the JMeter config elements that are widely and commonly used in JMeter and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. Let me go to my JMeter and I will go to a new test plan and in the earlier sessions we have already seen all the web and HTTP config elements and we have also seen the earlier CSV dataset config. Now if I go here and go to my test plan, do a right click, add we have config elements and we have seen all these earlier the HTTP and CSV. Now let us see some others, some commonly used. Let me go to counter and to show you a demo, I will add a thread group. And inside a thread group, I am going to add a sampler, let us say a Java request. Now if I go to counter config element, here you can create a counter. I can give a starting value, let us say I give a starting value as 1 and I say increment is 3 and I give a max value as 30. So I want to use a counter 1 to 30 with an increment of 3 and I can store this in some variable or I can use a variable to refer these values. Let us say I am saying num here and if I now go to my request, this is just for demo. So I am saying here request and then I will say dollar and in curly brackets I will refer the variable so num this is the syntax and to see the result I will add a listener I will say view results tree and I will save this test plan and to save this let me give some name I will say config elements and now I will run this so here you can see I am getting request 1 and this one is coming from the counter config element and because we are running it only for one time this is showing us a single run I will go to my thread group and I can increase the iteration count to let us say 5 and I will save and clear and run again and now you can see it is going from 1 to 30 and the increment is in the steps of 3 I will go to my thread group again and let me say I want to see 10 runs or let us say I want to see 14 iterations and I will save go to my view results tree clear and run again and let us see what happens this time so it will go until 30 and you can see it has gone from 1 to 30 with an increment of 3 and after that it has again started from 1 so wherever in your test plan you need to add a counter or need these numbers like this you can always use the counter config element. Let us see some more config elements. I will go here and then we have we have already seen DNS cache manager in the earlier session. Then we have FTP request defaults. Now if you have any FTP sampler in your request for example I will go to the thread group and add a sampler and we have a FTP request here and if I go here so if you want to have any defaults for your FTP request that you can add in the FTP request default config element. Then if I go to the config element again, we have already seen HTTP authorization manager in the last session. Then we have JDBC connection configuration and this is important. So let me take it up here. So in your test plan, if you have any JDBC sampler or a preprocessor or a post processor, the connection will be established using the JDBC connection configuration config element. For example, if I go to my thread group and I go to sampler and here you will see we have a JDBC request. So if I add a JDBC request or if I go again to the preprocessors and you will see a JDBC preprocessor and if I go to post processor, there is a JDBC post processor as well. So if I add any of these, preprocessor, postprocessor or sampler, you can see we do not have a option to create the connection for the JDBC or the database here. The connection will be set up in the JDBC connection configuration. So whenever you want to create a connection to the database, you will use this JDBC connection configuration. And in JMeter, whenever you want to get any more details, you can highlight that element and click on this question mark. This will take you to the documentation for that particular element. So you can see this is for JDBC connection configuration. Now let me again go to my test plan, do a right click, add and go to config elements. And then 
we have java request defaults this is for our java request sampler then we have key store configuration and this is used to manage any key store or certifications if you need in your test plan again if i go to this question mark it will take me to the documentation and here you can see the key store config element lets you configure how key store will be loaded and which keys it will use so in your request or your test plan if you have a need to use a ssl key store or certifications you can always use this key store configuration and you can get more details on the setup from your dev or networks team on this so you just have to remember that you have this configuration element in jmeter and if you need you can get it from here then i will go to the next config element which is ldap we have ldap extended request defaults and ldap request defaults and again this is used for the samplers if i go to the ldap sampler i will go to sampler we have ldap extended request and ldap request so just in case you want to use this you can use the ldap request default config elements now let me go to we have a random variable here so let us say in case you want to get a random value i will say i want a random value from 1 to 10 and the variable i want to use is here i will say random num so i am saying i want a random value from 1 to 10 and the variable name i want to use is random num now i will take this up and in my java request instead of num i will say random num and let me delete the other requests so i'll do a right click and remove and say yes and let me also move this key store configuration above and i will save everything and in my thread group i will just say i want to run five iterations and i will clear view results tree and run and let us see here uh, i can also just disable the other config elements so that they are not executed and i will run now and you can see it is getting a random number from one to nine so here we have request and then this is the number nine six nine two seven if i run it again you will get a different set of numbers so here you can see ten seven one one seven now here we have a option here seed for random function and here let us say i say two here what happens now is if i go back to my view results tree and i will run it again and here you can see it has used the numbers 93189 if i clear and run again you will see it has used the same numbers 9318 and again i will say just to verify and yes 9318 it is using the same numbers and this will be useful if you are doing any troubleshooting debugging or you want to reproduce your scenario so you want to use the same values in that case you can always have a seed for random function so this was random variable config element and then i will go again to config elements now we have a simple config element and here you can see we have keys and values so in case you want to have keys and values and want to override this in any of the samplers you can use the simple config element and if i go to the documentation you can see here the simple config element lets you add or override arbitrary values in samplers and you can choose the name of the value and the value itself so, so this is how you can use a simple config element and then i will go again to the config elements now tcp sampler config again will be used for the tcp samplers and we have already seen the user defined variables in the earlier session where you can add the variables using the add button and then can use these variables in any of your requests now in jmeter we also have some plugins and if you add plugins you can get some more config elements but this is the standard set that we have seen here so all these elements that you see here the config elements these are all the standard sets and i have already shown you if you go to the apache jmeter website 
which is apachejmeter.org and here if you go to the user manual here you will see point number 18 component reference and this will take you to all these components we have samplers logic controllers listeners and then we have all the config elements so you can always refer any of the config elements documentation from here and also you can select any of the config elements and click on this question mark to directly go to its documentation i hope all this was very useful for you thank you for watching